Welcome to How to Pitch Your Project at a Hackathon. Um, and this will definitely be a recording later. So if you want to watch it later, um, feel free to. Um, so this is kind of just going to go over a general overview of like what to say, um, what to prepare whenever you know you're in front of a judge. Like what do you say? Um, how should you present in front of a judge? Stuff like that. We're just going to go into the small details and whatnot. So the first things first is um, when you're, we ask that all hackers, right? They create a dev post. Um, and dev post is essentially a place where you can submit your hackathon project and we can see them, right? It's basically just an online site just to get an overview of what your hackathon project is. And so, like I said in the beginning, Hack AI's dev post is due by 11 a.m. tomorrow. Um, so definitely keep that deadline in mind. And so with this dev post and what goes into it, I'll get into another slide. Um, but one advice that I usually give hackers is um, you know, work on your dev post early um, because, you know, if you start like last minute and you're trying to rush to all the details of the project, you know, you're not going to make, you know, well clarified dev post. Um, so definitely start working on it. Even just like pop up you know, a submission, even if it's not complete, just pop up a submission, just like maybe write a few words because you can edit your submission later. Right. Um, so there are five steps when it comes to submitting a dev post. And these are the five categories that are listed below. Um, so the first one is called manage team. Um, and manage team is basically like, you know, invite your team members, right? So everyone on your team signs the dev post into the hack um, AI dev post. And you, you just invite them to your project. Like, hey, these are the team members that worked with, right? That's basically what that. Next is project overview. So it gives you a summary of your project. You just fill in details about your project. Project details goes in more specifics. And I'll get into that, what the specifics are. And any additional info, this would be like GitHub, any um, demo links, uh, it would also be like, you know, if you have any supporting diagrams, you know, just like extra stuff on part of your hackathon, if you want to link to it. Um, and then I see submit button so that when you submit it, um, you know, that project is like up on the gallery for that hackathon. Right. So that's basically the overview of dev post. Um, so now the deets of the specific, the project details, what goes into it, right? So first, um, when you're creating your dev post, you want to remember that you make sure you get all of these in. Um, so you want the name of your project, all right? That's number one, because without the name of a project, like, what are you supposed to call your project, right? Um, two, you want your team name on there, right? So the team name that you created at the hackathon today, um, definitely just have that on there. Um, three, team members, right? Like I said, whenever you click the invite team members at the beginning of your submission, I see you have your team members on there. Four, you want a demo video. Um, so a demo video is just like a one to two minute video that just kind of demonstrates, right, your project and like what personalities are, um, what does it do, and like how does it like basically solve your problem essentially, right? So you're just like, it's a very short video. Um, and so in this, inside the uh, project details, right, um, you want to have these sections. And uh, luckily, DevPost basically gives you like a project outline of like what you should say. And it has these headers, which is inspiration. So like, why did you create this project? Like, you know, what, what were you aspired to do? Um, what does the project do? Right, the main core functionalities of it. Um, what's the tech stack you built it with? Um, you know, what technologies did you use going into it? Challenges, because I know, you know, you, there's no way that you built your project 24 hours of smooth sailing like it'd be very hard for me to believe as well um so you know what challenges you ran into and how did you kind of solve them in terms of accomplishments and overall like it'd be awesome to like you know see what you guys learned all right because you know the whole point of this hackathon 24 hours like it's not to like get a full-blown project it's to just see how much you've grown and how much you learned right so and then obviously finish off like what's next? Like what would you do after this hackathon your project if you were to continue it, right? What are the kind of next steps, right? Because you think like big term, like how can I expand this project, right? You always want to think about that when you're building your project. So those are kind of your main headers. And like I said, DevPost already gives these headers to you as like a template in a sort of sense. Um, so you just kind of fill in the details. So, but these are going to be the main stuff. So don't forget to put all of this stuff on your dev post so that, you know, even when in the future someone wants to look at your project, they know exactly what went into it too. So specifics of the demo video, like I said, it's going to be one to two minutes long. Keep it between that range because if you exceed it, um, you're not going to have enough time to actually like go through your entire project when you're uh, you know, presenting in front of a judge, right? The demo video is a core part of your presentation or a pitch, um, but it's not everything, right? So one thing I recommend is to do a recorded video, right? You can do a live demo. Most people do live demos. However, um, you know, sometimes things can go wrong virtually. Um, maybe screen share function, I just, you know, craps one time. Uh, you never know what could happen, right? So if you have a recorded demo, um, 
you just have it there and, you know, maybe you can share the link if like screen share doesn't work with the judge or whatever. Right. So you always have a backup plan. Um, so that's why I recommend recommended video or sorry, recorded video. Um, but if you want to go and do a live demo, right, then feel free to do it. Um, that also works as well. So things, three things to include in your demo video is the start to end of your application, right? This essentially means like if I was a user and I log on to your application or try to use it, like what would I use it for? Like how would I go through? What's the workflow, right? So like whenever you go on Facebook, for example, right? You Facebook, you go to the homepage, you scroll through the feed, you click on a post, you think you like it. Uh, maybe if you like it a lot, you comment it, right? There's like a workflow to the app, right? That's basically what you want to like demo. Like if a user gets onto it, like how do they use it, right? So start to end. Um, if you have any special input or output into your application, right? Like if, for example, um, if your um, application takes images in, right? And it generates an output, obviously like show that you're, feeding in a, like an image and it's generating an output, like show that in your demo, right? So it's not like, it doesn't look like it's hard coded, right? So input and output show that if you have any and main functions and features. So, you know, when you're running from start to end, you'll probably go through all the functionalities of your app, but obviously just to reiterate, you want to have all the functionalities listed in your app. And so this seems like a lot, um, but you know, when you're actually going through it, it's a very seamless, you know, experience you want to make in the demo video so it's going to easily fit in one to two minutes do not worry about that but that's basically kind of the three things if i had to list down what would go in a demo video um and the video i'm not asking you to be like you know premiere pro editors uh, it doesn't require much editing and if anything you just use imovie or windows video editor um you know just simple like editing tools if you need to like do cut transitions or whatever um you know demo video like i said it's a core thing but it's not everything for your uh pitch right so um, and if you can't do a demo video for some reason, you just don't have time or whatever, at least do screenshots because screenshots at least, you know, show what the app looks like and how it kind of works, I guess. Um, you know, that's kind of like last resort, but definitely, definitely have a demo video. You definitely want to show your judges that when you're demo, demo your projects uh, tomorrow. So now we're getting to the pitching, right? So like, you know, a judge is in front of me. Uh, you know, I don't know what to do, what to say, like, what, like, you know, what's going on. So this is kind of how you break down your presentation from, you know, top to bottom. So first start off, you know, uh, like talk about what's the problem. What's the theme you're tackling um, in your project, right? Because that kind of gives, it builds up the scene for your project, like kind of why you created it, right? The inspiration. Um, and then second is what does it do? And like, does that, does it solve the problem, right? Um, you want to like, obviously label the main functionalities, then go into your demo video. Cause you know, once you kind of talk about it, you want to show what you talked about, right. To the judges after the demo video, you want to go into how you build it. So like, so like I said, the tech stack, um, cause it's always interesting to see what tools you can build amazing technologies with, um, any roadblocks. Cause you know, um, the roadblocks kind of help, uh, solidify like what's next, the section that comes after it. Um, it kind of shows like, Hey, this project can expand, even though we're into roadblock now, you know, we can definitely uh, work on in the future. So, you know, these kind of, kind of things just flow together and dev posts like, uh, are actually already had these sections, right? So you're to write them up. So basically, you know, when you're writing your dev post submission, you're already writing the script for your, uh, pitch. So, you know, it kind of works out in the end. So, these are the main six things that you definitely want to hit in your presentation and your presentation is going to be no more than two to four minutes. I forgot to put it inside here, but remember two to four minutes. Um, don't exceed five. I mean, I, ideally don't exceed four, but don't exceed five because that's going to get, uh, you know, it's going to take a lot of time for us to, you know, judge every project at least three times because um, that's kind of one of our goals in judging. Um, and, you know, judging may take a little bit longer than usual. So definitely keep it two to four minutes. And I'm pretty sure the judge would probably cut you off um, if they feel like they need to go on to the next person. Just ask you maybe Q&A. Um, how you want to present it, right? Um, you, you can maybe verbally present your project, but that won't be that fun, right? Most people like work on visuals. So use slides to sell your project. Slides are freaking amazing. I'm using it right now to like, you know, demo like what you're supposed to be demoing. Um, and please do not like screen share your dev post. Your dev post, think about it as like a script, but it's not the movie, right? It's not the movie of your project. Um, so use slides to kind of like maybe fancy it up. Um, you don't have to make it super fancy. It's just like slides, just typing all the details um, and definitely split it up. If you're working with a team, definitely split it up. Um, you know, it ensures that everyone participates in the presentation. If you're working solo or let's say like, you know, half your team has to dip because they can't do judging tomorrow. Um, that's totally okay. Um, definitely at least one person needs to be there to kind of present your project. So, but you know, if your entire team's there, then good for you guys. Um, definitely you're going to get a great experience pitching. 
So that's kind of the framework on how you want to pitch at, um, you know, the judging round of the hackathon. So this logistics page is kind of an extra bonus um, to this. It's, a, it's supposed to be a really short presentation. Um, so these are going to be the logistics that we're going to go into uh, for tomorrow judging. Um, and so this is going to be on your side. So all projects are submitted to dev post, right? Like I said, and when you're submitted, we basically take, you know, about an hour, 30 minutes or so and assign each project table number, like we're doing a science fair, right? So, um, you know, you get your table number, right? We're going to release that within the hour, I would say so. Um, and then you go find your table number on the Discord judging category. You should be able to see it. It's all the way at the bottom. So you just scroll on the left side all the way at the bottom and you see it. Um, and so... When we figure out like how many submissions we have, that's how many tables we're going to create. Um, and so, you know, you're going to assign your table number, go find your table number when judging a period starts and go ahead and join your table number with your team. Or if you're just doing a solo, right, just go ahead, uh, join it. And uh, if you're with the team, delegate one person to screen share, um, because, you know, if you have multiple people screen sharing, it might be confusing to the judge to, you know, jump from your screen to their screen and back, you know, it just kind of logistics wise is kind of, Judges. So just have one person so they know one screen to look at all times and they can just follow along to whoever's talking. Right. Um, so definitely try to like time that up with your teammates. Um, share your camera as well. Like I said, we're trying to replicate the in-person experience. And I know it's not exactly like the in-person experience, but, you know, sharing that camera and it will definitely encourage judges to share their camera gives the like science or feel like, hey, I'm interacting with a judge. I'm pitching my product. I put my you know, heart and soul into this. Um, and it kind of shows in your facial expressions right when you're pitching. So definitely share your camera. Um and, you know, once you do that, once you got your table set up, essentially, um, a judge will join a call eventually, right? If they're not immediately, like, at the beginning, don't worry. They're just going through their uh, table numbers one by one. Um, so they join the call. You can definitely introduce yourselves, um, you know, because it's always good to, like, know who the judges are talking to. Um, and then at the beginning of your presentation, either the judge will ask you to, you know, which track you are in, because track um, is kind of matters. Um, so that to make sure like, hey, like I'm judging you for track one. So, you know, you're going to only compete against people in track one. Right. So that's important from the judge. Um, so they're going to either ask you the beginning or end. Um, to, but just make sure that the judge notes down which track you're on, because that's definitely going to be important. And so uh, after that, just start pitching your project. Right. The judge is going to be ready. Um, they have their kind of like their rubric on their side. Um, so start pitching your project. Someone you should already have your basic screen share open at that point. Um, and you can tell the judge like, hey, this is my screen. You can click on it. Um, and so you pitch your project, right? Like the pitching framework that I labeled. And after you're pitching, you're going to have a Q&A with a judge. If time allots, right? If you basically take the entire four minutes, I don't know if the judge is going to have time to, uh, you know, ask Q&A with you. But if, if you have Q&A, it kind of clarifies with the judge, like, you know, maybe some specific parts they don't understand. Um, so definitely try to allot for time for Q&A if you can. Um, and then obviously once they're done, they're like saying thank you or whatever. And they're going to leave your voice channel and then they're going to the next one and then another judge is going to come eventually. So you're going to repeat from step six. So that's basically the logistics that are going to go down. All right. So it's 11 steps, but like once you do it, just basically it's pretty intuitive, right? On how you're going to do the logistics. Um, so that's basically it. Um, it was supposed to be a really short presentation. I lot it for 30 minutes, more or less for Q and a, um, but I don't know. I, I felt like I explained this pretty good, but if you guys have any questions in the chat, let me know. Um, you know, since we don't have a big audience, I kind of mainly intend this for be a recording so people can watch maybe tomorrow morning or whatever. Um, but you know, since we do have people here, definitely ask questions in the chat. If you have any, just about any logistics about maybe specific about the pitching part. Um, I'll be chilling for the next 15 minutes, I guess, if you guys have Q&A. Um, but if you don't, I'll definitely go ahead and end this recording.